Fidel was um, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, FDR, Ronald Reagan, all rolled up into one person. And he had a profound, significant effect on every single Cuban, and they all knew that this was an absolute end of the era. It was an emotional moment for them, even if they had had personally bad experiences. They came out to the side of the road to say goodbye. El qué? I'm translating. <laughs> you, know, you used to speak English, you don't remember? Sí, sí, pero que se me ha olvidado el inglés. Ustedes hemos recibido tantas agresiones de Estados Unidos que se me ha olvidado el inglés. For the first generation of the revolution, the revolution was thrilling. The extraordinary speed with which they were implementing their social programs. Every place you looked, there was a new school being built, a new clinic being built. Uh, the children of sugarcane cutters were becoming doctors. Astonishing. But when their economic engine began to run out of gas, and the rations were still the rations that they've always been, and in, actually instead of meat, you were getting soybean paste, and they were calling it meat, it begins to erode the idealism of, of, of the revolution. And you can get pretty far on idealism for a year, it might be for a decade, but it's really, really hard to sustain. It's all this stuff going on in Cuba. When I filmed here in 1975, all these shells were full. What's happening to Cuba? Uh-oh. Is everything okay? We've got the fear here. When I first went to Cuba, I was 24 years old. I was excited by a country where you considered the benefits for your neighbor before you thought of yourself. And when I ran into selfish people in Cuba who uh, were as selfish as anybody in the United States, I, it, was, it was a sad lesson for me. Because so much has changed in the past two years. Selfies, they never had selfies. I think in, in making this film and living in the United States and spending a lot of time in Cuba, I've become rather unideological. Um, I sort of don't care if you have a capitalist system. I don't care if you have a socialist system. I care if you're working for the, the greater good of your citizens. Uh, we haven't solved our healthcare problems. Uh, to some degree, it's getting worse. We certainly, in many parts of the United States, have not solved our educational problems. And the Cubans were coming up with solutions that we should have just left them alone. And, and let's see if they can succeed and maybe we'll learn something from them. Instead, every chance we, you know, we, we popped them, we, we, we hit them, we kicked them. And, they, and, and, and I think that's the big tragedy.